Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Castlevania Lords of Shadow. Uh, so I went ahead and I just did this because like, fuck, fuck that. Like I did this off screen because like, it's such a waste of time. All right, cool. Um, oh, this is fun. What is the purpose of this room, by the way? Because the, the justification in Castlevania is Castlevania is a creature. It's alive. Dude, you can't do that to me. Oh, thank God. Such a load of bullshit. The justification in Castlevania normally is that Castlevania is a creature of chaos, and it is alive. Dude, that's not fun. Um, and so sometimes you'll see very, very strange architecture. And sometimes, like, literally impossible architecture. I... You saw that! He hit the edge and he bounced off! It's bullshit, I says. Okay, in Castlevania, the justification is it's a creature of chaos. But not only are we not in Castlevania, this is a universe where Castlevania doesn't exist. Thank God. Okay. Wait. This has just put me back at the beginning. What was the point of that? Why is the room constructed in such a way that you, you know, leap at the first thing and you're like of course yes that's good blindly now granted maybe that's some of that's on me but why does the game permit the player to undo their progress so happily and so readily so quickly what's the point of that anyway if we're you can just walk off the edge why and now we're here what's the fucking point I'm going to game over and die shut up Patrick I don't care about this cutscene either let me play Okay. So, like, what's the fucking point of this room? Because I've talked about it now. There's no justification for this room to be a weird creature of chaos bullshit. It's not the heart of the castle. It's not doing something like that. It's just... It is, like, a... It's a thing? Like, what's the actual purpose of all of these things? If this was, like, a clock tower, I would say, Oh, well, these are all just the gears, you know? Because when you're in the clock tower levels of Castlevania, where you are, even though it's weird, like, it does make sense. But this isn't a clock tower. These aren't all gears that are working towards an obvious goal. What exactly these are supposed to be doing is unclear at best. Oh, of course, I should have waited for it to come up here. But if you fuck up that jump, doesn't that mean that you can go back down there like this? All right, all right. Took a little break. I'm back in. I really don't know... I don't understand the design of this room. Like... The room doesn't make sense in a, in a literal video game sense. This has been established. Let's make a brief mention to the fact that the statues that are underneath the platform I'm on have their titties out. And they appear to be getting railed from behind by some kind of demon. Look at how, the, look at how those arms clutch the head. Very weird. Yeah, that isn't hair. Their, like, head is being grabbed. Okay. Now, getting here isn't too much to worry about, but, like, I don't know why they made it so fucking hard to just get onto this little thing. And then you die. 
I'm happy. I'm. I guess I'm glad that I died instead of going back to there because then I would have just had to do all of that over again. But like, I don't know why they made it so you could go back onto the starting platform. That isn't fun. <laughs> like, what's the fucking point? Why make it that way? Why make it in such a way where the player needs to worry about accidentally undoing their progress in this puzzle? Why is it like that? What's the point? And, like, I'm getting good at it, I guess, but, like, this Castlevania isn't really built around repetition. It's why it doesn't have a life system. Am I not supposed to be jumping that way? Do I go here? No? Okay. I don't know what happened there. I had my hand off the stick. I had my thumb off the stick. Like, I've now talked about it, but, like, there's a lot in this game that is just here to pad the runtime out, you know? So your HLTB looks better and longer. People see this and they're like, ooh, long video game. That'll be worth my time. But why? Am I not meant to jump up there? That's where the thing directs me to. Alright. Don't lose control. Not this early. We just started this episode. Do I go this way? Sure don't. Like, this is the only thing in the game that I've encountered so far that is like this. Where, like, repetition is a part of it. And, like, repetition is a part of the old Castlevania games, but we're now two, like, styles of... Two or three styles of Castlevania game past that. Like, we're not doing that style of game, like, two times over now. We don't have Castlevania games that are like that anymore. Like, we don't have Castlevania games with lives. The Metroidvania became the most common type for a while. And then after that, the 3D Castlevania tried to catch on, and they still had, you know, Metroids on the, on the GameCube. Or the GameCube, the Game Boy. D that's not fucking cool. That's not fucking fair. Shut up, Patrick. Skip the scene. What am I meant to be doing? Like, the fact that what I have to do isn't immediately obvious is incorrect. This, like, so much of this game has been obvious, and that's the correct way for it to be, and this is a weird inversion of it. What the hell? All right. I have landed on this thing. That was... What? Hello? Okay, thanks. I didn't release... I'm not releasing any buttons. What is happening? Is there something stuck? What the hell? Why, why isn't it going? All right, I read a walkthrough. It makes no reference to this being strange or infuriating. I cannot understand why Gabriel will sometimes just let it go. I'm not doing anything to make him let go of it. I have tried holding back on the stick, like, exactly in the same direction. I have tried twisting the stick with this thing, and that's really all that I can think of. Why is that what's happening? He just lets go of it. 
I can see that it's changing down there and stuff is happening, but I don't fully understand why. Why is the puzzle made like this? Like, again, this is this is that thing that I talked about where, like, if you don't do it on your first try, you need to watch the whole animation play backwards in reverse so you can then re-engage it and have another try. And if you don't get it that time, well, then you watch it go backwards again. And, like, this is, this is another thing where, like, I just have to watch the puzzle do its undo itself as I'm trying to play. Why is it made like this? What? What the? I don't understand. Why is that the way that it's made? That, that can't be right. You just have to hold the stick still until you put every... What? I... Why is it made like that? And the, the thing is, is that what appears to be the case is that it's made like that to waste your time, to eat up time, to make it so... You just have to spend as much time playing Castlevania Lords of Shadow as you as you can. This still isn't a very fun mechanic. Like, I'm not getting that much out of this mechanic. It isn't really that fun. I, I don't see too much purpose in it. It's just a way to let me crawl on things, and like, I don't agree with the assessment that this game needed that. Like, the platforming here is lame. I'll say that gladly, happily. That's safe. <gasps> what? Why? Why? Stop! I just want to get off. I want to put my feet on here just in case there's a checkpoint. Okay. I have no idea what direction I should be holding. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Like, the way that they keep changing the... No, no, go back the other way. The way that they keep changing the camera makes it very hard to know what direction you're meant to push the stick towards. Like... Fuck this, honestly. By the way, I picked up a light magic gem. There was a secret little light magic thing. Great. Glad I knew that. Stop climbing. Okay, so that's not gonna work. One, two, and four. Two, one, and two.
How fun. That part was okay. Don't fucking do that to me. I hate it when they change my camera direction in the middle of a jump. It's never good. It's never made me feel safe. I can't even see what I'm looking for. Okay, thanks. Okay, great. Should I be listening to the audio cue of it? Why is it made like this? There's not a single part here beside... <sighs> there were like two parts here that were, were okay. I can't see what I'm trying to manipulate. All right. I think I found a system that works. But also, hey, he's here. Should I let this go or... Fuck you, dude. Also, like, come on. Are you serious? Like, right when I'm almost done lifting this stupid puzzle thing up, you're gonna... You're going to do me like that in a manner where I now need to do the whole rotation of it again. I'm happy to be whipping something again, I guess. Like, I feel like they could have made this game just be, like, half the length, you know? Like, look, if this game was, like, half the length, and then, I don't know, they made, like, three or four games out of this? Like, look, on the one hand, it's kind of scummy to sell a short game for full price. But on the other hand, the game that this is is fine, you know? There's a lot of stuff in this game. Especially, like, if we played from, from here to here, and then they just changed the pacing a little bit to make it a little more fitting for... to make it a little more fitting and understandable and, you know, logical. Then, like, I feel like I would have played a decent amount. I played, like, what, 12 hours? And then if they put, like, you know, the other five difficulties in here, that wouldn't have been so bad. Whoa. Gnarly. I found the new system, by the way. You just hit the stick. You just, you tap the, the, the grab button instead of holding it because for some reason it'll think that you want to let go if you hold it. I don't think it's because I'm changing the pressure at which I'm holding the, the trigger because it's also like just changed it just because. Like, I, I, it, you've seen it. I, let, I held it with the, the pressure consistent the whole way through, at least as far as I could tell. And then it, like, gave me, you know, completely random times that I would lose control of the, th of the thing. Oh, God. Okay. The giant mechanisms rocks, and huh? gears continue to turn. Okay, Gabriel you're winning me back. continues to foil them. He is now in the heart of evil. Darkness is all around, surrounding him from all sides. Here he will meet the brother of the one he destroyed in the village. His name is Olrox. The two brothers have been her greatest champions, yet I sense their reign of evil is ending here tonight. Yeah, you Olrox sense something, and, and then there's also Dora darkness all around me. Like, who took sides I want to, I want to, I want, I want to look at these and just like average lords. out everything that Patrick Stewart he has says. Terror on the lands ever since, but now he will meet one. But then I would also have to reread more them. More powerful than he. One who will deliver a message without any mercy. 
all rocks meet Gabriel Belmont and his vampire killer. Yes, I'm aware we're playing Gabriel Belmont. So back in the day, the first like real vampire movie I think is called Nosferatu, and it's about a dude named Count Orlock, right? And originally this was supposed to be a Dracula movie, but they changed it. You shall not pass through here. Okay. You shall not stand in my way. Good shot there. Wow, okay. Commander Olrox, big, high. Demon Spawn and Vampire, both and he and his younger sibling, were inhuman before the Dark Lord turned them. They didn't belong in the earthly plane, being lesser nether demons begat in the deepest corners of hell. How they came into the world is a mystery. What is known as the Vampire Dark Lord found them and used her influence on them. He's got a Beyblade. So back in the day, Or Orlock was the vampire right and like I believe this vampire is sometimes erroneously referred to as Nosferatu but I don't believe that's actually his name I'm a vampire hunter I hunt vampires it's my thing Yeah, just punch him. Punch him like a normal. Nice. Sorry, I'm not talking a lot. Anyway, so because of the RL swap in Japanese, that was awesome. Because of the RL swap in Japanese, Orlock is changed into All Rock. It's a little more, you know, phonetically confusing there. Also, again, it's not technically that Japanese has a swap between R and L. It's that they don't have L. So sometimes their R's are changed to L's and vice versa. Because they just they don't use that letter, um, except for like a few words, I think. Totally parried that, but whatever. That's all right. Getting my ass kicked on bosses is fine. <laughs> awesome. Oh wait, glowing orange means that it's unparable, right? Unblockable. Okay. So anyway, they erroneously named a, a, a vampire like Gargoyle guy, Olrox instead of Orlock because of this, right? And they did this like years ago. But like now, Olrox is an iconic part of the franchise. And so like people don't want to get rid of Olrox because he's a character, you know, he's a guy. I think he might have been in Castlevania, uh, the fighting game. My 
Wrong button. Sorry, I know that I shouldn't be saying wrong button at this stage of the game, but... Oh, hey. Already, huh? Whoa. Radical. That's super cool. Oh, that's super creepy and gnarly. To keep your to keep your, your kill in an Iron Maiden? Radical. Anyway, so that's the origin of, of Ulrox. On the one hand, he has a bit less lore than... Um, what's his name? Damn. He has a bit less lore than um, Browner. Because Ulrox is just a, a, a boss that's recurring, and Browner had, like, a whole game about him. But on the other hand, Ulrox has more history because Ulrox has just been in more games, you know? He's just a part of Castlevania now. Alright, being too aggressive. How dare you tell him to my lead? Damn. Again, the resetting is, is annoying. I would like to see Donguri do a combo mat of this game, I think. Oh, maybe it's time for this, huh? We'll skip this scene because, like, I don't really care that much. Cool. Take some pieces off. Can't parry that. Oh, I parried, but not perfect there. But yeah, so like sometimes in a in a video game. Oh, I should have put that into health or like white magic, light magic. So sometimes in a video game, in order to balance, uh, to balance uh, vampires and werewolves, damn, they make it so vampires have a lot of health, but werewolves have regeneration, you know? Sometimes that's, you know, how they do it. All right. How dare you challenge my lady? I like walking attacks in, in any game, but Corner fuck. All right. I'm getting my ass beat here. Okay. Breakthrough. My lady will be pleased after I bring her your head. Is that not far like close enough? Damn. I should come back after a sec. Uh...
I've been Alfred. This has been Castlevania Lords of Shadow. Thank you for coming. I had a good time. I hope you did too. I've been Alfred. I hope you have a good day. Bye.